Hello there, I'm Margaret Sekalek and welcome to my Feng Shui session on tips on office desk placement. We're going to go through some of the general rules when deciding how to position your desk for the best Feng Shui. So let's start with some fundamentals to remember. I will be showing you a few slides on some of the uh, positions of desks that sometimes we encounter when we're trying to um, arrange our furniture in our office. So let's go ahead and start with the first slide. When we're looking at the positioning of tables, furniture, or seats, or office desks, we want to get the best position, the most harmonious positions. And uh, when we're looking at this, we try to find out if we have these uh, four celestial animals in our environment. So this is what we call harmonious positioning or power positioning. As you can see from this slide, we have these four different animals here. So we have the turtle in the back, we have the white tiger, and we have the dragon on the left side, and then we have the phoenix. This is you. So what we have here is the four celestial animals surrounding you. Okay, now why is this the case? Because we want to find protection. You know, we want to find protection for our back. And uh, this kind of positioning or a harmonious positioning or power positioning, we can use in our daily activities and situations to create that harmonious flow of energy in our lives. So as you can see here, the five animals here, sometimes they call them the dragon or, you know, but uh, we have the dragon here on the left side, I mean, and the white tiger. We have the turtle at the back for your support. And we have the phoenix in the front. So you are here in the center. Okay. Now, this is the same as um, the landform school or the Sanhe Feng Shui school, which focuses on the existence of the four animals in the surrounding areas. The landscape and features that are surrounding one's home or property. This is also what we are looking for when we position our furniture and desks. We want to have the turtle for support at the back, the dragon to our left, and the tiger to our right for protection as well, and a clear view in the front, so we have the phoenix in the front as well. Now let's go to some uh, slides here that will show some of the different uh, arrangements of desks. Let's go ahead with the first example, example A. Here you can see that the person is seated here and he's looking towards this direction. Now, which means that his back is toward the door, okay? So his back is toward the doorway. Now, as we were mentioning a while ago, we want to find the turtle. We want to have the support from behind. So what's happening here is there's no support for the person who's sitting here. There's direct energy coming from the doorway aiming straight at the person. So there's no black turtle for support from behind. So this is one of the positions that is not really favorable. Let's go to another example. This is example B. So example B also has the person with his back towards the door and he's looking out the window. I mean, it is good to have a window in the room, but in this kind of arrangement, he also has no support of the turtle. He has no support 
and he does not also have a clear vision of the doorway, which we really want to have. So this is also a locate uh, an arrangement that is actually not as favorable. Let us go to the next slide, example C. Now, the person now is not, you know, his back is not towards the door anymore, but he is in the direct line of oncoming T coming from the doorway, as you can see here. So, you know, uh, the energy that's coming straight at him is not really a positive energy. So you don't want to face oncoming Qi this way. So this is also an arrangement that is not as favorable. Now let's go to another example. Here is example D. Now we have a table arrangement here that is actually looking towards the door. Yes, the person has a clear view of the door, but what's happening here is his back is towards the window here. So he does not have the support of the turtle in the back. There's no support because of the window here. So he has a clear vision of a uh, clear uh, vision of the door, but he does not, he lacks the support of the turtle. Now let's go to another example. This is example E. Now, this table is arranged in such a way that it's angled. So what you can see here is the person sitting here does not really also have support from the back because this is basically an empty space. So he might have a good view of the door, but he also lacks the support of the, tur of the turtle in the back. So this is also not as favorable a position uh, that you might want to, uh, to you know, arrange with your table. Let's go and look at some favorable position. <clears throat> this is one favorable desk position. Okay, The person here seated at this table has a good view of the doorway. He has the support of the back wall. Okay, uh, I apologize if my arrow is not aiming you know, uh, properly, if the drawing is not a little bit uh, straight, but uh, I'm sure you can uh, understand the flow, uh, what I'm trying to say here. So he has a good view of the door. He has the protection of the, uh, of the wall in the back. And he also has some sort of protection coming from the wall on the side. So your back, as you sit in your desk, should be close enough to the wall behind you for support and protection. And you should not uh, kind of move your desk away from the direct chi coming from any windows or door. So you have a you also must have a clear view of the door from where you sit. Now let's go to another example. So this one, this uh, table arrangement is kind of a perpendicular arrangement towards the doorway. Now let's go to another example. This is also a favorable desk position. Your back as you sit in the desk is also close enough to the wall behind with support and protection. You know, you have the turtle at the back, which is here. And uh, you also have a clear vision of the, of the door. And you also have the protection. So as you can see here, the table is uh, a distance away from the oncoming chi coming from the door that you see here. So he has a clear view, the person sitting on this desk has a clear view of the door and also has the support of the turtle. So let's recap a little bit. To summarize what we just learned, remember to use the power positioning or what we call also the harmonious positioning when arranging your tables and your desks and furniture at home. So again, the five animals, you know, <clears throat> we, 
will be the dragon, the phoenix, the turtle, the or the tortoise, the tiger, and you in the center. So hopefully you've been able to learn a little bit on how you should arrange your tables, your furniture, whether they're in the living room and whether they're in your office. So join me in some of the other feng shui um, sessions that I have. They're short uh, and sweet. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to learn a few tips on how um, you know feng shui uh, it can actually benefit you in your uh, daily activities and uh, how some of the energies could actually be used to benefit you and your family. So join us again as uh, I regularly will go online for to share with you some of the tips on uh, feng shui, harmonious living and the environment. I will also be having some question and answers uh, video sem um, sessions. So if you do have any uh, questions that you would like me to answer, please send them in, email it to us at our website, and uh, we will actually, we will be responding to it, or we will randomly select some of the questions and have them answered. So thank you for joining, and hope you can also subscribe to our online tutorials. Thank you.